Hey guys, Shutdown here. I just wanted to make a quick video and show you guys some of the things we bought from the local craft store for uh, painting and gluing our miniatures. So here we go. Hey guys, so because we didn't know what we needed as far as painting and priming and everything for the Warhammer models, um, what we got a starter kit, um, the Testor's Complete Military Enamel Set, and they had several different um, varieties or types at Michael's is where we went um, but we chose this one because we like the colors that um, that it had it also came with a knife for shaving off the seams and these are sandpaper right here um, different grades of sandpaper these we probably won't use uh, I think they're for making like windows on tanks um, and stuff like that this is cement this is cement um, for gluing them together and then this is clear cement. I don't know the difference. We'll see how that goes um, But these are the colors that came in the particular set we got um, We'll list those uh, in the um, detail box But um, this is the military enamel finishing set that we chose and then it does come with some paint brushes and some glue tips Which we probably won't end up using but there they are Oh, and then like little, uh, for putting your paint in, little wells. Okay, and then we also got some um, extra things that we thought we might need. That's paint thinner um, to thin out the paints. And then we bought uh, a few extra colors we thought we might want. Gold and silver metallics and um, a few other colors. We got the non-toxic cement glue because, um, yeah, I don't want to be poisoned. So there's that. Okay, and uh, we thought we may need some files. I don't know, who knows? These may not prove useful, but um, maybe for filing down any kind of um, seams or something like that. These are the paintbrushes we chose. We kind of deliberated for a long time over paintbrushes, but ended up with these because they were pretty fine tip and seemed to be more or less universal. Uh, we did go with the gray primer. All those shut down things. We don't need the primer, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and then we got some more paint wells. Those do have lids, although we probably will not use them, um, but they're there. I also wanted to add uh, briefly that we did some research into the best types of paint before we made any purchases, and the general consensus seems to be that the Citadel paints, which are made by Games Workshop, same people who make Warhammer, and also the um, Vallejo paints were generally considered to be the best. Um, the reason we ended up going with the uh, testers paint was because um, our local hobby shop didn't really have a lot of selection of you know the high quality paints that you might want, and um, also they were a bit more expensive. We kind of Kind of went for a middle ground here on the testers. Hopefully, uh, these paints will and will prove to be uh, pretty good. I think you know we got enough models. We'll be able to try to paint a few and and see how they look. And if they just are horrible, you know we can always turn around and go back and find some citadels. Um, we'll try to put some links for the uh, Vallejo and Citadel paints below, and uh, that way you guys can go check them out for yourself and see if you think they're worth the extra money. See you next time.